what uh do you know what jordan peterson thinks about bitcoin and b- about the future impact about of bitcoin on the society no i don't actually um we're hopefully going to be talking to him soon about that we did a, a book club on his book maps of meaning and he engaged with us about it so we're hoping to deliver the orange pill to mr peterson the orange pill. Yeah. <laughs> i think his audience um is one of the most important audiences in the world to understand bitcoin these people that are conscientious and responsible um i think they'll quickly understand bitcoin's value proposition and help elucidate it to the world i'm trying to remember what he said about about it basically i think his support of bitcoin is grounded in the kind of people who are opposing bitcoin Mm. so Mm -hmm. without understanding bitcoin he starts to like bitcoin because of the people who are opposing it (laughs) he's you know you start to i mean that's partially why i am interested in bitcoin it's like all the people in uh in power Mm -hmm. and all the kind of shady fraudulent uh, non-genuine people who are dismissing bitcoin uh are making me think hmm one one of uh jordan's definitions of god is he says god is found in the truthful speech that rectifies pathological hierarchies Hmm. and i think that is a beautiful definition of what bitcoin is doing in the world and that we have this pathological hierarchy called central banking by which the rich get richer and the poor get poorer um, that is used as a mechanism for perpetual theft and funding warfare at a global scale. Uh, like Ron Paul said, it's no coincidence that the 20th century of total war was also the century of central banking. Um, when you have an institution of currency counterfeiting, which the central bank is, you are no longer bounded by your own balance sheet when you go to war. You don't have to just go to war on your own resources. You can now pillage the Commonwealth and pilfer the savings of society as a whole before you go bankrupt. And indeed, this is what Hitler did, right? Hitler hyperinflated uh, in the Weimar Republic to to fund his war efforts. Um, And frankly, every dictator, every world war, every internment camp in history was made possible by the weaponization of money in fiat currency. So I hope, I know Jordan Peterson is a huge proponent of free speech. And I think that's ultimately at at its deepest essence, that's what Bitcoin really is, right? It is just the purest form of monetary speech we've ever had. And by purifying that primary operating system of human action, I think we can eliminate this pathological hierarchy that is unfortunately the dominant institution in the world today.